Supersaturated solutions are fairly basic and, and really interesting to observe because it's dealing with the fundamentals of that chemical compound or uh, solution. In this case, we're using sodium triacetate, and it's very simple to set up. has a little bit of a safety caution as you do it, but all you have to do is add sodium triacetate to a beaker and warm it gently. The caution comes that it's going to go easily into liquid, but because of its nature will tend to form a crust on the top. And so it requires continuous watching and attention. Otherwise, you can build up pressure with the liquid getting warm below the crust sealing on the top. And there has been experiences or situations where then the whole thing erupts and blasts the material out all over the place. The chemical itself is not that toxic or problematic, but it's been warmed up, and so if it's a heated material flying around, gets on you, it can cause burns because of the temperature effect. So the key is to warm it slowly. You can add some water to it, but you don't need to because water is already part of the compound, and so it hydrates itself as it warms up, and it doesn't take a lot of temperature, a low temperature uh, hot plate will we'll do it, it just takes time. And then what you have to be careful of is that you don't contaminate it with anything. And so the longer you sit it around and, and expose it to things, it'll get dust or things like that, and that will seed the solution. So you add a little water to make sure that you're not adding new crystals back to it as it gets liquid. And then once you've got it completely liquid, then you usually do a quick rinse at the top of the flask with the ionized water and then seal it up. From there then if you transfer it to the flat the vessel like you saw we used the flat uh, piece of glassware on a pedestal you have to make sure that that's very clean too and if you have just a little bit of dust or dirt in the vessel when you pour that liquid in there it automatically seeds and turns to solid. So this demo can be problematic if you have the solution ready and then prep it to take out for the lecture and pour it and it goes, then you don't have a demo to show because you've already turned to solid. So the key is rinse well with clean deionized water before you transfer and then I always wet down the surface of which I'm pouring out of so it doesn't go over any dry surface just in case there's some speck of something you don't see there because it just takes a crystal, literally a crystal of this compound or some other pollutant to seed the reaction and start the, the process of crystallization. So we, we pour that in there just before lecture, then seal it up, and then the other thing is, because you just never know what's still hanging in there, we don't shake it around a lot because a little bit of shaking something falls back in there it seeds that way so generally we've had real good success with keeping things clean be careful when we pour and then setting it there and then not messing with it any further and then depending on how you want to present it you literally can snap your fingers over the top of the vessel have a little crystal on your fingers so that that's thrown down into it and it appears like you just snapped your finger and it crystallized <laughs> But a lot of times they'll take a piece of a tweezer and just a small a crystal and with the tweezers drop that in there and you see what happens there in the reaction that it crystallizes quickly. It's also uh, something you can demonstrate with a thermometer to show that the temperature does go up and so it increases. If you have the opportunity that people around and can observe, they can actually touch the vessel afterwards and they can see that it, it warms up. This is a basic chemistry that's used in a lot of the heat packs today where you can reuse them. And all you do is flex a metal disc in there, that seeds the crystals in there to start and they it solidifies, produces heat for a period of time. Then you put it back into boiling water and that drives it back into the liquid state again and you're ready to go. Um, there is not any other real hazards other than when you're warming it up and then the other risk factor isn't a hazard so much the risk that you're gonna fail the demo because you seed it too early. You can do this in a number of ways. We did it that way because visually it's really uh, apparent on the video. One of the fascinating ways to do this is to put it in a 50 mil barrette. 
again you have to have everything very clean and you're going to come through a very small orifice at the bottom barrette but if you do that and get it set up so it's one drop at a time and set the barrette a distance above your surface you literally can make a very nice about two centimeter diameter column of the sodium acetate and it and you could do that for hours it just literally sits there and keeps adding to it as long as your barrette stays clean and stuff doesn't get in there to solidify it in the barrette but there's a number of different ways you can do that um, I saw another another one that the Big Bang Theory did a pretty good job of is they took and put the crystal on a straw and the flask they used the flask and the liquid was down in the flask and they immersed the crystal into the center of the solution and you saw it radiate out from the straw and the crystal the whole thing went solid and then of course the straws froze there in the crystalline material in that so it's all basic fundamental chemistry and just the crystallization process and this compound because of its nature is of, can be warmed and then in a super saturated situation quickly crystallizes okay the, the explanation for this situation with sodium triacetate sodium triacetate or sodium acetate trihydrate is that they have the ability in this solution <clears throat> to have submicroscopic crystals that would normally be the first to deposit but have a higher solubility and the crystallization process can't get started and so when a normal ordinary crystal is added then the process can start and it quickly goes that way and so this solution tends to hold in that state where a lot of things tend to be at that point but then they don't hold and so they just go you can't store them that way and this one <clears throat> We do try to keep some of it ready on the shelf, but 50% of the time it goes on its own, turns solid. And, and part of that is over time collection of other foreign material and stuff like that. And so we actually have over the years worked where we warm it up, hot, hot filter it through a Buchner funnel into a flask that's already heated that has a little bit of water in there to keep it moist and then get all the pollutants out of there and then that clean solution tends to hold up for a while again but you can always go back to the primary solid right on the bottle and heat that up and do that and you know that's going to be good but it has to be with that submicroscopic crystals that tend to hold in position it won't go until you add one more to it where a lot of things they, they don't have that position they just solidify right away once you're super saturated